If you haven't heard of fitness tracking, then you've probably been living under some kind of health rock for the past several years. Also known as health tracking or life logging, fitness tracking is all about the quantified self. In other words, it's about measuring your performance and your stats throughout the day as you train and as you go through your usual activities. This means things like your steps taken, your heart rate, your calories burned, your temperature, your stress levels and more. Together, all this information can be combined to create a somewhat complete picture of your health. You can then take that information and use it to guide your future training, to see where your weaknesses lie and hopefully to further improve your well-being. The old maxim goes, that which is measured improves. This applies in business, it applies in engineering and yes, it applies in fitness. In fact, there are some studies that suggest simply measuring your weight is enough to ensure you shed fat. That's right, with no other conscious changes to your lifestyle whatsoever, just knowing how much you weigh can help you to weigh less. And it goes beyond that too. The more you learn about your fitness, the better you'll be able to improve your training methods and the more likely you are to be able to flag up health problems and issues with your routine. This can be highly motivating to see yourself improve and it can provide data that allows you to train more efficiently and easily. Using a fitness tracker, for instance, will let you train within your fat burning zone and thereby burn fat far more efficiently than you otherwise would. Likewise, it will give you more actionable tips on how to improve your sleep, thereby helping you to wake up with more energy. Of course, the reason that fitness tracking is so popular right now is partly to do with the slew of new technology now available that revolves around the tech. There are a huge number of wearable gadgets that provide fitness tracking, including the likes of the Microsoft Band 2, the Fitbit, Jawbone, the Garmin ViofIt, Apple Watch, Samsung Galaxy Gear Fit, the TomTom Spark and a plethora of other options. If you really want to start tracking your health and improving your fitness, then picking any one of these gadgets can help you to do just that. At the same time though, there are also a number of different ways to measure your fitness and track your health that have nothing to do with wearable technology. People have been tracking their fitness and their performance for hundreds of years and there's no reason to spend lots of money on fancy wristwatches to do the same. What is crucial is that you understand how to get the most out of fitness tracking, how to avoid some of the pitfalls, and how to do it right. There's more than one way to go about measuring your health and fitness, and if you take the wrong approach, you'll find that you end up ruining your own chances of success. With the right skills and know-how, you can track your progress with or without a fitness watch, and the result will be better fat loss, more muscle, better sleep, and more energy. Sound good? That's where this video series comes in. In this video series, we'll be looking at a ton of different aspects revolving around fitness tracking. There's not much dedicated specifically to life logging, which is a shame because there's just so much to it. In this series, you'll learn how to pick the right fitness tracking options for you, how to track calories, how to work out your resting metabolic rate and active metabolic rate, the best ways to measure fat and differentiate it from muscle, how to measure your grip strength, how to monitor your testosterone levels, how to train in the fat burning zone, how to use HIIT with a running watch, how to calculate and compare your strength, how to improve your brain with brain training, how to increase your motivation with gamification, how to guarantee weight loss and much more.